Hey guys, this is Tara Gaze here. What is going on? I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday, Saturday. What is today? I don't even know. I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm just here to bring you guys some um, Identity V news here. I'm pretty excited about it. We've actually got quite a few information over the past couple of days, but um, we're definitely going to go ahead and get into this. We have some great leaks, some great data mining stuff, but other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get this video rolling, so we'll see you there. All right, so first and foremost, we do have some basic balancing to get ahead of ourselves with. Uh, we also have some huge changes actually coming to the chest in the game. So basically, uh, there's just some rumors that are going around. We kind of saw it through the data mining as well and uh, the test server that's up too. Basically, they have an idea of removing the flashlights, the flare guns, and the explorer's notebooks from the boxes leaving only the rugby ball, the needle, the magic wand, the perfume, the elbow pads, and the mechanics remote. Uh, furthermore, the times and all these items will be reduced um, from one charge, apart from the needle, of course, and uh, when they're found from the box. The rugby ball and the remote will have their times uh, halved, respectively, being 4 seconds for the football, 60 seconds from the, um, the remote. So that's kind of some interesting changes we've got going on there. I'm kind of a little nervous about that. Uh, I'm excited to see it, I suppose. But like, I don't like. I can, I can understand removing the explorer's notebook. I mean, I can understand removing the flashlight because let's be honest, the flashlight's kind of garbino. Um, the explorer's notebook. I mean, that kind of gets rid of some, you know, immersiveness you can do, but it's not that useful when you bullet. I'll be honest, unless you are the explorer. And the flare gun, that one I kind of a little bit shaky about because like a flare gun's kind of hype when you get that. You know, you get the flare gun, and you're like, oh, this is awesome. Like I can make some saves or some plays with this. Then removing that's kind of painful. However, I think that will bring some more play to the um, the coordinator, which is really good because she's kind of in a weird spot right now. So I think that might be really good for her. Next up, we have some character changes. So Lucky Guy will actually be getting a new trait. Um, this is going to increase how fast he opens up a chest by 60%, um, kind of similar to the the thief's ability, except it's not global. And the persona buffs and debuffs will actually be displayed when they are in action now, like uh, permanently, like, you know, huge ones is in like when there's people, you know, who may have died in the game and you get increased, you know, decoding speed and then ie like stuff from the killer side where you know more people are dead the the harder it is to decode those ones will actually be displayed now whenever you're working on gin so that's pretty exciting she died when i was eight Next, we have some skin news. So we actually have the Necromancer's package coming out for the Feaster. This will include both the skin and an accessory that I am assuming will make his tentacles look exactly like they do in his pictures. Probably turn them into those green snakes that he kind of like, you know, make attack and look pretty cool. Um, that's what I'm assuming comes in with that. We also have a few skin leaks, which I'm pretty excited about. So we have the crossover that's rumored to occur with the clothing, clothing uh, with the clothing brand. Um, it's going to be like a new modern take on some of these characters. You'll see in this picture here. Uh, this is what looks to be, I want to say, the Bloody Queen, the Reptilian, and maybe a survivor of some sort. I can't quite make it out, but I would assume it's the gardener since that is their poster child. This also includes some pests down at the bottom, you can see, which is pretty exciting. Um, we also have a skin release that looks like it's kind of like the Exorcist design for the... Um, embalmer but it actually looks like it's going to be for the cowboy so i'm pretty excited to see how it is because the extra skin looks really really good on the embalmer so i'm assuming it would look just as good on the cowboy um and finally we have a skin here that doesn't have much depiction to it but it seems to be a leak for the hell's ember um i want to say it's he it looks like he's holding like a lance it looks really really cool i'll be honest so i'm excited to see what it looks like in the game but that's what we have for skin leaks Finally, we have some huge map leaks. Um, so I'm pretty excited about these. We have, uh, they're currently adding two new windows uh, loop spots. And they're also removing some windows and uh, sorry, some pallets from the uh, Sacred Heart Hospital. So basically by Big Boat here, we'll, we'll be able to, there's an exit gate around here that you can kind of start off if you move to the left. 
you'll see up here that there's actually going to be a looping spot right here. It's going to be a window and a pallet. It's basically all it's going to be, kind of an L shape. And it's going to be really, really exciting. So you could, you know, hop through it and do what you need to do with that. Uh, I wish I had the video to show you the, you can look it up. Uh, I'm sure it's on one of their Twitters, but I can't, I can't like put the video in. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get that video. You know, I'll probably put the link in the description for that video so you can kind of get a better idea. But I'm just at least showing you where they're going to be at. Also, we have at the amusement park, we have another loop by Little Top here. As you can see, it's right by the exit. Whenever you would go inside the center, you see the two pallets, you turn left. You will actually see, once you come out there, there'll be another L-shaped loop with a window and a pallet right there, which should be pretty excited. And lastly, inside of the Sacred Heart Hospital, if you go up to the, you know, in the middle area, the top and bottom floor, there will be one pallet removed from both of those floors. Uh, this one was a little bit vague. I wasn't quite sure what the video was trying to depict that. It looks like it's going to be the one that I'm going to show right here, but I could be wrong. However, we just know two pallets will be removed from here, so it'll be harder to loop in this area, um, which kind of makes sense. There's a lot of areas, especially if the, the female dance can get pretty wonky in here. But other than that, that's pretty much all we have. Um, that's all we have for news, guys. Um, I really appreciate you sticking around. Uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and you know like, comment, and subscribe. Sound off down in the comments what you think. Tell me what you guys think about these changes. They sound huge. Um, but other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of your hair. You guys have a wonderful evening, and all, as always, take it easy. Bye.